back, back foul beast. Oh wow, I think I threw it off the edge there. Sorry foul beast. I hope we can still be friends. everyone! Welcome back for more Breath of the Wild. Link's nose is all cold and pink and it's adorable. <laughs> um, basically, we have everything we need to kind of get going up to that divine beast. Um, and there has been, I don't know, some discussion of maybe I would do a side quest before this, but I think no. I think today we're going to face divine beast Vomito, so let's do it. <laughs> Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Va Meadow. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are a precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Wow. Wow, 20! Very generous. Thank you, Sheba. Also, it'll be cold up there. You'll want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Alright, I have warm clothes. I'm styling. I'm ready. Hmm. Alright. But let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? Hmm, to rescue Zelda to save Rito Village, I can't just watch. Just because? To rescue Zelda. Hmm. Zelda. But that's the name of the princess Rivali served a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast Va Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Table must be so confused. <laughs> right, get on. Get on. Get on? I get to fly on? Oh, Taba! Thank you. This is too fun. <laughs> Alright, bomb arrows. Let's do this thing. All right, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. Must be pretty cold. There's Divine Beast Vomito. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Link just never talks, <laughs> Teba. Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's Barrier. It's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. Thank you, Taba. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. I'm ready. All right, now go blow up those cannons. I got it. I got it. Out of the way. Okay. Let's see. I need bomb arrows already equipped. Let's see. Whoa! Divine Beast Vomito. Uh, Taba, are you okay? Did it explode you? Be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Okay, now I'm a bit closer. I think I can hit these cannons a lot more easily. Um... And shoot. That's interesting. Their, like, aiming sound is a little bit lower pitched when you go into, like, time dilation mode. Alright, um, Teba, I... I want to regroup. Can we... Can we regroup now? Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's the Rito theme. It's targeting us. Yes, of course it's targeting us, Deva. All right, let's see. And hit it again. Okay. I think that worked. But where on earth did Tapa go? I guess I'm doing this without him, basically. I thought I'd be, like, riding on his back. 
I think I'm just stamina all the way, which is fine. Like, I'm handling it. Let's see. Alright, it's targeting us. I, uh, might be close enough for that shot to land. Okay, I was. That is good. It was kind of risky, because, like, you know, bomb arrows, kind of expensive. Alright, I think there's only one more cannon to go. And then the shield drops. Also, I'm not supposed to touch the shield. I gotta remember that. I'm kind of getting a little close for comfort with the shield. But I'm not supposed to touch that, so there. Okay, it's targeting us. Oh, that's what Taba's doing. He's distracting it. Thanks, Taba. Actually, okay, this, this game mechanic makes a bit more sense now. I just needed to give it a bit of time. We did it. We did it. Great! Whoa. Alright. We now have access to the... I don't know about you guys, but I feel like... Well done, Link. Thank you. That thing is history. <laughs> Look at him go. I love Link, just as a character. Oh no. Dave, are you okay? Ouch. Bad news, Link. It looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think I think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Good luck. It's all you. Sounds good, Taba. Alrighty, here we go. Um, let me try and remember what I was saying before because I didn't want to talk over the cutscene. Oh, yes. I feel like, um, this divine beast we got access to way quicker than the others. Well, now, I've seen that face before. Ravali. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. <laughs> You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Whoa. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? <laughs> Rivali's the best. Alright, let's see. Let's do back to normal arrows, because I think there's a lot of archery in this dungeon. Starting with this guy. Um, but I guess what I mean is, like, I think it took, like, I don't know, two, maybe three hours of gameplay to get through all the, like, Rodania stuff. And Meadow was just so easy, like, pretty much we have access to Meadow straight away. All we gotta do is, like, talk to an elder, shoot a few targets at the flight range, and we're pretty much there. Oh no. This is not ideal. I don't know how I'm gonna make it back up now. I don't think I was supposed to fall down. Um, it's no trouble for a strong Link like me. Oh, okay, see, yeah, there's a little updraft here. We'll be fine. And I got a treasure chest, too, with an ancient shaft. So, you know, that can't be a bad thing. Um, all right, this time, let's not fall down. There's more treasure over there, but it can wait. Oh, hi, you are here for combat. Okay, we've got lots of good weapons, too, which is awesome. And now we have a guardian spear on top of all the good weapons we have. I'm feeling very confident. I know we got here, like, pretty quick, but I think we can handle this divine beast 
maybe the easiest out of all of them yet. She Slate Authenticated Distilling Map of Divine Beast. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I felt the need to sing along with that. I guess I just don't know what else to do with myself while it takes like 80,000 years for a little drop of water to fall. All right, there's the terminals. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Great. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. Awesome. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Okay. Think you're up to it. I think I am. Thanks, Rivali. Alright, so while we're on the topic of um, SOS cries like in the other two divine beasts. Um, meaning like the Morse code. Oh, more bomb arrows. Good, good, good. Um, Rivali's SOS Morse code in the divine beast comes a good deal later than um, the other champions do, uh, which almost seems to suggest that he waited to surrender until he absolutely had to. Um, because, you know, he's cocky. That's a big part of his character. I'm just gonna tough it through the malice because I don't know where the eyeball is. Here we go. Back. Back, foul beast. Oh, wow. I think I threw it off the edge there. Sorry, foul beast. I hope we can still be friends. Okay. Um. There should be a terminal. It looks like kind of above us. I remember correctly this is a very unique dungeon I think there's a lot of like moving platforms and flight involved which you know of course would make a lot of sense um, but let's see this isn't right this is this is the top of the wing we need to go inside it but how to get there hmm I see it now Let's, uh, whoa! That was a little bit close. Let's take the updraft. You know, I've heard it pointed out to me a few times that, um, oh dear, we're not gonna clear it. Uh, ah! Okay. We gonna need a plan B. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Maybe we could eat something small, because we're running just a smidgy low on hearts. Do we have anything small or just, like, really awesome stuff? Maybe I could just gobble up a couple apples or mushrooms or something. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I've heard it mentioned that, you know, if, if a real person were to try to recreate Link's glider. It, it would work, um, maybe. But, y you know, even if it did, you would need an insane amount of arm strength uh, to be able to, like, handle it properly. Um, which, you know, makes sense. Like, I think if you were gripping onto that, like, you know, Link must be really strong, and that's why it takes so much stamina. Um, probably is just because, like, that's, you know, his whole body weight he's holding up with his arms. And it's not like you can let go, like you're several miles in the air. Oh, right, I have controls. So if I tilt the wings like so, that's what I was missing. I forget, I can do this. Whee! Man, and just that, like, big, loud eagle cry it lets out is the coolest thing ever. Honestly, the idea of Divine Beast is, like, just so awesome. Ooh, there's something back in here. I wonder what to do about it. She gets late authenticated. There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. <laughs> oh, that's how I get in here. 
Great. Let's see now. Uh, whoops. Where are you coming from? Back. Back. Oh boy. You know, maybe I'm gonna tilt the... I'm getting a little seasick fighting everything on an angle. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so when I do that, it opens up this draft here. Alright, my guy. Um, can we, like, not attack each other? Thank you. Let's see. I think, um, this hammer needs to meet this here. That would make the most sense anyway. Aha. Nope. How do I get in? That's strange. And now if I bring it back. Can I get this gate to open if the wind isn't blowing, I wonder? Maybe I gotta close this. No. Interesting. Okay, so that... Closes that door here. Maybe this is what I need. Oh, the music in here. I heard, like, some really gorgeous strings just now. It really feels like... I don't know... Wind. <laughs> um... Hmm. I can't figure out how to get that door open. Let's see. If I close this, and then tilt that, then what happens? What am I supposed to be doing here? Maybe I gotta tilt it all the way here, because it wasn't pressing down the switch all the way. I would wager that might actually be it. Because this looks like it's pretty simple. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna try something that's maybe not the intended strategy. And then I'm gonna need to act fast. Yes! Okay, now run before it goes back out. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe once it's open, it's open. Was that how I was supposed to do that? There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. Keep going. Rivali's starting to sound a little less condescending and more encouraging. Okay. Now what? There's my ball up here. Whoa! You see that shot? I'm pretty proud of that. That was a pretty good shot. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if I tilt the bird back this way a little bit, I can kind of, like, running start over to these platforms. Okay, 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 okay. And then we'll tilt it back. And I should have access to this ladder, which gives me access to the other wing. Because it looks like that's where the last three terminals are. I wonder... I can't move this one with Magnesis. Do I need to tilt Rivali again? Oh no! Maybe I'm gonna have to be faster than that. Well, this is weird. This is like gyroscopic. It stays level. Does that mean it takes me to somewhere different? If I ride it up? I don't think so. I think everything is inside the wing. But that is interesting, though. Hmm. Then tilt this back this way. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I think I see what needed to be done. These metallic ones that I can control using magnesis. I'm supposed to use this like a barrier to kind of prevent this one from going further than I want it to. <sighs> Just a lot of back and forth moving the divine beast wings. Hmm. And then if I kind of, yeah, I don't. That works. It's not like totally in line. But I don't know how I would have gotten it to be. This feels right. Yeah. Okay. Ancient core. Valuable to researchers. Huh, we still gotta find that one research lab in Akala. Okay, there's a terminal up here. If we can get to it somehow. Uh, probably it just involves dropping down, I would guess. I think I'm overcomplicating a lot of these solutions here. Let's see. Just stand up here and tilt the bird wing downwards. Nope. So actually, I can't really do that, maybe. Or maybe I can if I stand up here. Yes. Yeah, I think that is what I was supposed to do. Okay, one more down. Two terminals remaining. You're almost there. <laughs> Rivali completely surprised that we were competent enough to do that. Um, okay, the last two seem to be in here. This looks like a remote bomb kind of puzzle. Do I, like, roll the bomb over? I think I do. And detonate. Okay, well that definitely, that certainly did something. But what? Interesting. So if I send another remote bomb, the wind will now blow it to the side. And then where does it go? Oh! Okay, so now I think the goal is to get that metallic ball to um, press down the switch. How are we going to do that? I think we got to tilt this all the way forward because it should stay on the track. I hope. Otherwise, my life is going to be a lot more difficult. Mm, yeah, it's not going to stay on the track. The track is for bombs only, but I wonder if I can grab it with magnesis through the wall. Looks like I can. So yeah, this can't be too bad, because now all I gotta do is tilt this back again, and... Krithonk. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, these puzzles aren't too, too hard. They're pretty easy. I think most of the charm and appeal in these Divine Beasts is like, I don't know, the setting and the environment and the music. Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> oh, Rivali, Rivali, Rivali. Let's see. One terminal remaining. I think it's outside. Seems to be set like just below the wing. So maybe if I drop down out here. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. This is the one I tried to make it to before and I biffed it. That's the last one. Oh, sp Really speedy and fast. That was the last terminal. 
Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, well. Flap to it. All right. I will flap to it, even though I have no way to flap, really. But that's just fine by me. The good news about this divine beast, I think, is that I don't need to break a lot of weapons on him. Um. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. I should have waited. Ah! Um, I don't need to break a lot of weapons on this one because I think it's going to be mainly archery. And I do have a whole lot of bows. Okay. Here we go. Might want to level out the Divine Beast before starting this. My hearts could probably use some work. Let's save. Okay. I think if I did like recovery plus two and I'm still warm and cozy in my nice Rito clothing. All right, let's do this thing. I'm so hyped. Bring on the divine blight. Like in whatever you're called. Uh. Mm -hmm. Go. Good sir, wind blight. Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link. Ah! Okay. Dead on. Watch yourself. So I remember um, I played this game through in master mode one time. Um, it was not easy. Uh, and I think even more than like final bosses, the thing that gave me the most grief was this boss. Um, because in master mode, um, these peeps regenerate their health. And let's see, I'm gonna need bomb arrows, aren't I? Uh, ouch! <laughs> okay. Oof. The bad idea. Um, in master mode, things regenerate their health, and the hits that I can land on this guy are kind of few and far between, so he would just keep regenerating, like, over and over, and it was really a struggle bus. Also, I'm dying. I'm working on it, Rivali. Thanks. Ugh. Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up. Bomb arrow. Yes! I think that was just about dead on. Oh boy! See, it just doesn't stay put. Like, come on. Ooh, okay. You know, that was pretty okay? point blank. I'm doing fine, thank you. Am I gonna stun you eventually? Maybe I can take the opportunity to hit it while it's kind of down here. Come on, I gotta get a good attack window in at some point. Stop it! What are you doing, the creepy thing with your hand? Ugh, darn it. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I want a better bow. Ah! Okay. Thank you, Mifa. Here we go. I think it helps to hit its hand. It's best to hit its eye. All right, buddy. And actually, you're on the ground now, so I'm gonna start whacking you. Come on, come on, come on. This isn't too bad. Okay, down, he's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. Just hit him a bunch. Face two! Let's do it. Let's see if we can take this thing down first try. How much you want to bet? I can take it down first try. I wouldn't bet very much, <laughs> but I'll try my best. 
Okay, watch my blind spot, Rivali says. Where's my blind- I have a blind spot? I mean, like, behind me is a blind spot, I guess? Maybe I'll just stick with the approach of, like, staying close to him. My head is in the game. Don't worry. Owie. Okay. Let's take advantage of another dish to eat. Not bad at all, I think. I'm pretty much ignoring the flying projectiles. I'm just trying to, like, wail on this guy at this point. Let's see. I... <laughs> okay. Can I parry? Let's try it out. Did I do it? Or was that Daruk's protection? I think it was Daruk's protection. And it's not going to shoot me again, so I will turn it. I was going to say I will shoot it, but that's that's not working either. This bow is so cool looking. Okay, parry, parry, parry. Yeah, that was Daruk's protection for sure, but now we can whack him. Ah, we're getting so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there are updrafts I could have been using to hit it this whole time. That would maybe have made my life easier. Except, where did you go? I can't find him. Oh, way up there. Hey, I did hit its arm though. Not bad. Okay. Okay, he's down to like a splinter of health. If I'm like in full honesty here. Breath of the Wild is a fairly easy game. It's not hard to beat. Um. And we did it also. Hooray! I guess what I was just saying is like, the charm of this game lies in the design, the music, just kind of like I was saying with the Vomito dungeon. It's not about the difficulty here. It's more about the charm. Guts! Ew! Gross! Alright. You guys hear my controller? It's so loud. <laughs> my third party controller is so loud. I like it a lot because of the back paddles it has. But can you guys hear it on recordings? Like, if you can, let me know because that's, that's kind of an issue if you can hear it on recording. If it's that loud might want to get a new one. Yay! Heart container! Huzzah! Oh, I almost walked right past it. <laughs> yes, please! Heart container! Thank you. Wink! Alright, lovely. I still have two extra hearts, look at me go. Uh, once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this Divine Beast. Do you still wish to- yeah, I think it's fine. I think we got at least most of the chests. It's not like there's any super crazy loot in here, probably. All the best loot in the game can be found on the ground. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Hello. Who would have thought? It's for Volley. Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! Sacred, huh? <laughs> uh, sorry by the way if you guys are hearing like meowing and chirping in the background. My kitty cat is being a little bit vocal. She's sitting right below me. <gasps> Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Feel free to thank me now. Thank you, Rivali. 
Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. <laughs> the princess has been waiting an awful long time. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you know, as um, cocky as Rivali is, he does have a sort of charm to him that makes me like him a whole lot. I think his voice actor is really good. That's absolutely terrifying, also. Like, that thing is colossal. Meadow's sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. <sighs> After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast. And accomplished something that even I could not. Oh. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. <laughs> I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. Is that character development? I smell. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say, Yue? Yeah, Rivali Scale! A blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion, Rivali creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by charging jump with X. Also, I nearly caught that dragonfly. Darn it. So basically, I just got like... That's so cool! <laughs> and Rivali flying next to me for a bit. Alrighty. Um, let's see, where's my quest objective here? I still haven't gotten this tower yet. That'll probably be the next item of business. Hello. Good morning. I heard that Divine Beast Von Meadow has been appeased. It just sends my heart soaring. I didn't even realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Uh, teach it to me. Huh? Well, that's embarrassing. Mmm. Pride of the Rito. Pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. Uh, there's more to the song, but I forget the rest of the words. You should ask my sister, Lysa, if you want to know the rest. Okay, shrine quest. I would wager our objective is up at the- Oh, hey! Deba, 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 how are you doing? You, I really owe you for what you did. Are you hurt? It's fine. Thanks to my wife, I've recovered to the point where I can stand. Actually, my wife told me something about you. She says you're a descendant of the champion. Hmm. <laughs> Go on, there's nothing to hide. Your bowmanship, the way you move through the air. There's no doubt about it, you have the blood of a champion. What? You look like you've got something else to say. Actually, hmm. don't tell me. You're the Hylian champion. <laughs> Good one, pal. Everyone knows that all of the champions were wiped out by Calamity Ganon 100 years ago. 
And even if they survived that, they'd be old geezer with old geezers with canes instead of swords. I let the elder know about what happened with Divine Beast by Meadow, but you should probably go talk to him. Nice. Do you have anything to say, Saki? Tapa told me everything. About the flight range, the fight with Meadow. And that Meadow being perched above the village means that everything is back to normal. To have my husband home safe and sound. I cannot begin to express my gratitude. Aw. Okay. Uh, so I was right. I need to talk to you. You have done it! And you survived at that! <laughs> you conquered Divine Beast by Meadow. To think that the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village. It looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the Calamity. For now, Divine Beast Wameta will become the protector of this village and live on in legend. Alongside you. Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh, you're an owl. Oh yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You will get more use of it than I. What you did was miraculous, though I should expect nothing less of one from the bloodline of a champion. Why... You are almost the equal of the very Hylian champion who fought with Master of Ali a hundred years ago. All you lack is the sword that seals the darkness. Ah, so I keep hearing. They say that the Hylian champion wielded the sword that seals the darkness that now sleeps in the Lost Woods. Have we gotten an actual location yet? At the very least, we have one now. Ah, meadow complete. Wild. All right. Great eagle bow! Oh, and my inventory's full. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sure there's stuff I can ditch. Uh, it's a triple shoot one, so we can probably drop this other triple shoot bow here. Yeah, da -da -da -da. <laughs> all right, now we got the bow. And I think we're all done here. That's amazing. I guess just really quick, where is that tower? Hmm. Maybe if I look from up high. <laughs> ah, this is the best ability. Imagine how much quicker climbing's gonna go. Ah, I see the tower now. It's kind of this way. Yeah. I think that's the tower that we need. Let me, um... Ah, I can't scope from in the air. Like, it's right here. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Honestly, we haven't been going for, like, too long yet. So I'm gonna find this tower real quick before we call it a day. Whoop. Great. Ah, oh, this is so fun. We're getting closer to, like, end of game stuff. You know, oh, I've, I've anticipated it long enough. Now is the perfect time, I think, to tackle the Bolson quest in Hiteno Village. It's a good one, if you're not familiar with it, and there's a reason why I keep bringing it up. Um, so I think in the next episode, that is what we will be doing. Uh, which probably involves a lot of, like, farming wood and making money and stuff. But then, you know, whoa, we're a long ways off the ground. I don't think I have any stamina food on me. Am I going to be able to make it? I hope so. Okay, yeah. There's a little ledge here. I can make it for sure. Only question is, how do I make it to the tower? Look what it's all coated in. It's all the malice. Hmm. I think it's interesting that there's, like, a weird, like, guttural pot boiling water sort of sound that you can hear whenever you get close to it. It's 
really kind of interesting. I feel like there must be an eye I can shoot. Because the whole gimmick of Rito and stuff is like archery. Actually, now that I think about it, there are four? Yeah, four different types of weapons in Breath of the Wild. There is a bow and a pole arm and a sword uh, and a claymore. Yeah, like two-handed weapon, one-handed weapon, bow, and a uh, pole arm. And I just realized that each of the Divine Beasts um, champions, I mean, bleh, each of the champions give you a different kind of weapon um, for, like, completing their dungeon. Revali uses a bow, uh, Mifa uses a trident, Daruk uses his giant two-handed sword, and I can't give away the last one because we haven't made it there yet. Okay, so I could do the intended approach, which is probably to find the eyes and shoot them. Or I could do the stupid approach, which is just to gobble up food <laughs> as I go. Either one could work, I think. I don't know, I'm not even seeing a single eye here though. I think maybe I'm supposed to do is climb up on this and then climb up here because I think the malice only goes so high up. Yeah. And then climb on the tower, I guess. Hmm. I don't know that there's at least a very obvious way of avoiding, avoiding the malice entirely. Uh, but I do think this is a pretty good bet. So long as I have enough stamina for it. Alright, ouch, 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 ouch. And we're good. That was like four hearts of damage. I can, I can definitely stomach that. Uh, although, do we have the stamina to make it up? Oh wait! Uh, whoops. Ouch. Okay, now we're sort of in trouble. <laughs> I'm just gonna- oh wait, that was really good food. I probably shouldn't have eaten that. It's okay, I can make more. Ouch. Just shoot this eye right here really quick. If I can get it to look at me. Um... Darn. Okay, so I loaded an earlier save where I still have some food and some hearts. And I'm just gonna see what I can do. I can line up a pretty good shot, like right here maybe? Oh my gosh, I actually did it. That is what I was supposed to do. Now I can get up. I probably shouldn't have used my bomb arrows for that. But hey, we did it. And we get to keep... I still have all that food, right? Yes, I do. Check it out. Yeah, this makes more sense. This feels more like what I was supposed to be doing here. And now I think I can pretty easily clear it to the top. Blech. Unless I do something stupid like that. Link, Link, where are you? Are you okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's try this again. Just maybe with a little less jumping. There 
There we go. Now we're rolling. Just took a couple of tries. <laughs> we'll just climb the rest of the way up. Maybe without jumping, even though I have no patience. Here we go. Whew. Okay. We did it. Chica Tower activated. <laughs> That'll be nice to have. How many more map regions do we have to unlock now? Like, how many have we got to go? I don't think it would be too many by this point, I bet. Scanning area. Bloop. Yay! Yeah, that covers a, a pretty good chunk of our map now. Great. Alrighty. I think... Let's see, we have this middle region. And then, like, four down south. But then that's the whole map. It's not too bad. And it looks like three of those towers are already kind of marked. Which is great. I only have to find two. Let's head over. I think if we want to chop down some trees, this forest and deep Akala would be a good place to do it. Um, just a refresher for the quest. I'll pull up the quest log, but we need, I want to say a thousand rupees and 30 wood. Okay. Yeah, there's a good amount of trees kind of down here. And there's a bunch of trees this way. So yeah, we'll be in good shape. Let's pull up that quest log. Let's just get to the ground first. Ah, oh, beetle. Wherever I go, you follow. Good goods here, he says. Hey, you're a great customer, and since today is Customer Appreciation Day, I want you to have this. Wow, an ancient arrow. An arrow created using ancient technology. To be struck with one is to be consigned to oblivion in an instant. Yeesh. It deals devastating damage, even against guardians. This even works on those guardian things. It's amazing. Look at his face. He's so cute. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zora's Domain all the way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. Clothes? Clothes. I'm sold. <laughs> I guess he's what you'd call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool. But also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Uh, what have you got? Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to... Okay, you've got arrows and lizards. Maybe I'll take a lizard, but they're pretty expensive. Um, let's see. Would you look what I've got? Got a good amount of key swings. Probably get rid of a few of those. And 20 whole rupees. Uh, it's not a ton. Hmm. Some of these horns, but whoops. Uh, I meant to sell more of those. Probably like 15. 16 is fine too. I need to go get some more ore. Or something, I think. Because this isn't a ton right now. Yeah, I'm pretty much broke. Thanks, Beetle. <laughs> Alright, and on this happy note at a stable, I think I'm going to call it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned so you can see us buy a home. 
question mark in the next. <laughs> and I'll see you all then. Bye!